All right. Get your shovel. Go dig a hole. Dump all the DVDs you can in it. Bury said hole. Get a tombstone and write on it R.I.P. DVD because DVD is finished. It's done. It's over. With Redbox closing its doors, there is one less revenue stream for DVD. I know what you're saying, Steve. This is bad for physical media. You know, this is bad for people that rely on these places to watch movies at a convenient and low price. I hear you. I do. But let's be very frank here. All it was doing was giving DVD companies an excuse to continue manufacturing these out-of-date, garbage, riddled with disc rod discs. It was an absolute shame that they ever existed. Because that's the thing, you think about it. How many people do you know that went to a red box and rented a Blu-ray? Probably none, because it was probably your grandfather. It was probably, you know, the homeless guy down the street. People who don't have the sense that DVD is worthless. You know, it's the way that you don't want to consume your media, and it's the way you don't want to buy your media. And to be fair, they weren't buying it, but they were still watching it. And who wants that standard deaf nightmare in their life? I have talked about DVD and its problems. Yeah, disc rot. It scratches. It's ugly to look at. The cases don't look sick on the shelf like, you know, a Blu-ray and like a limited edition packaging or like with a slip cover. You know, it's just not a good thing to exist. It had its time. I get it, you know. In the late 90s, DVD was all the rage. But DVD has been dead ever since Blu-ray existed. It's been hanging on by a thread. People have been foolishly supporting it when they shouldn't be. You know, people just need to move on. And now that Redbox is gone, that's millions of DVDs that are just going to sit there unsold. It's that simple. Now what you got left? Walmart? That's it. When Walmart decides the DVD era is done, when they're tired of filling up their garbage bins with DVDs, it's over. We are going to be in Blu-ray, 4K, and boutique heaven. Until, you know, everything dies out in three to five years, but who cares? You know, we got to ride the wave. You know, it's like surfing. It may look scary, but, you know, if you can just get up and stand up and take it for a spin, you know, it'll be all right because every one of us who's buying all this crap, we're going to be rich as can be. Not if you buy DVDs, though. If you buy DVDs, you know, you're kind of a fool. But I think we can all agree Redbox closing is a good thing. Again, think how much shares DVDs are going to lose now. And how much Blu-ray and 4K are going to gain. Did Redbox even have 4K as an option? I don't think it did. That's probably another thing that just cemented its death. You know, people that actually watch these discs, which is already a risky move to begin with, they were probably watching the 4K. You know? And if they went to a red box and said, Oh, I'd like to watch, you know, I'd like to watch Minions 3 on 4K, and it's not there, are you really going to blame them that they've just decided, I'm not going to support this machine? Everyone's moving on. DVD is done. Redbox is done. Rental stores are done. It's over. Praise the physical media gods that the DVD, the DVD diarrhea storm is over. But anyways, guys, that's my thoughts on this whole Redbox garbage. Comment down below. Tell me how you are mourning the death of Redbox. And while you're at it, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, keep slipping.